All right. Welcome to the JSPT podcast, episode 29. Today, we're going to talk about, hmm, what are we going to talk about, bro? All right. So 29, we're super late because of the holidays, but uh, no, Star Wars came time. out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on time. Didn't mention the holidays and like you know, hi, like hi everyone. Listen, holidays. Hope your holidays were good and everything. Like it's literally a whole new decade, bro. Shut up. We out here acting like we a new thing, bro. It's not about Shut nothing up. in the past. We don't care about these people. Holidays. Damn. I'm just kidding. I love all of y'all. Okay, so nobody did anything for the holidays apparently. No I did a whole bunch of shit. What do you want time. about? Oh, what you asked? Oh, so I we did asked. do stuff for the holidays. Okay, I work for the holidays, nigga. Oh, that's. <laughs> I Yo, made bank. I made city, bank. Though? Yeah, I was working in Minneapolis. I was working. I was, I was getting twenty eight dollars an hour. Damn. Yeah, yeah boy, yeah, I was yeah. out here you getting at airport, bucket. Right? Yeah, I work at airport. I was getting twenty eight dollars an hour, plus double time on New Year or uh, Christmas Eve and Christmas. And your boy was out here just banking up. I was getting like twelve hours a day. We out here rich, nigga. Don't ask where I got that money, where it's going. Didn't you want Probably. this to be short? Bro, I could talk. Yeah, you said not to ask. That, yeah, bro. There's no questions. That was all it was. No questions. Offshore bank account. What about you guys? About I you fell guys. asleep. Oh, wait, you slept? Yeah. On Christmas? I mean, what else was I going to do? Open gifts. Talk to your mother. Say hi. <laughs> What about uh, New next Year's? next person? <laughs> no, no, wait, hold up. Now, what about New Year's? That one, I, I also fell asleep on. I ain't do shit for New Year's. I sat here and hung I out. I meant to go to the Times place. Square, but I ended up not. Ew. It was too much of a hassle. Not to like stand and watch the what ball. A tourist. Talk. That sounds fucking. T- oh, 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 you don't, tourist. don't call me a fucking tourist. What a All right, tourist. buddy. But um, I wanted right, to see man. people leave uh, Times Square. That's what I wanted to see. Just the fucking chaos of having a million people spreading out would have been nice to see, but it's always next year. Why do you always want to see the world burn? Next one. Uh, I went to Southern California uh, throughout like most of the holidays. I was there for like a week and a half. I was in Mission Vejo, hanging out in Orange County. Uh, it was really nice, but the weather. Why every time I go to California, it's much colder than I expected. I gotta it's stop winter time. I gotta stop listening to movies. It's winter time. I don't give a fuck. I went in the summer last time and I was fucking cold in the bay. You went to the bay though. That's a cold air, bro. It's, it's bullshit. It's water. It's literally this, around water. I know, but New York is literally Manhattan is an island. Y'all brick all the time. Fuck out of here. No, in the summer when I went, it was fucking hot as fuck. It was all oh, that's true. That's true. It was bad. I went from there to like cold. I was like, what the fuck? So I don't know. But yeah, it was really nice. I, I, we drove up to uh, LA. I was there for like a day. I was just eating mad food and shit. Um, and yeah, I don't know. The trip was cool. Southern California was nice. And then um, on New Year's, came back home. I wasn't gonna do nothing. Then next thing you know, all of a sudden, I had a whole like a whole couple like like a whole bunch of cousins that came over. All of a sudden, That's I was fine. like, oh shit. And I was trying to I was trying to avoid it, avoid like the whole ball drop thing. I wasn't feeling it, but my mother dragged me out the room. But I was like, but like I really pushed it off to like five minutes out. Countdown. And it, it was funny too, because we were watching a stream because we got rid of cable. So we we're watching some like YouTube stream for the ball drop timing. And me and my sister ha- were on our phones though. And we peeped that the that our phones hit 12 before the family <laughs> finished counting down to 12. So I mean the stream was a little late. So that shit was kind of funny. But uh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then I just went back in the room and just chilled. Um, what about you, Zara? What about Zara? Yeah. I went home and celebrated with my family. He ate grapes. He ate grapes? Yeah, that's a Latino thingy. Uh, my sleep schedule's been super bad, too. Yeah, that too. I was not ready to go back to work. To the point, I went back to work. On Thursday, and then this call down Friday. I was like, nah, I'm like, no. <laughs> it's just like, it's like my back hurts. It's making it hard for me to sleep. But it wasn't that. It's just my sleep schedule was just so bad. I couldn't go to bed. I was just all fucked up. So, yeah, I'm trying to fix that now. So, I mean, 
let's get to the meat and potatoes of the episode. We wanted to talk about the rise of Skywalker. It's been out for a little while now, and um, we want to give our thoughts on it. We have uh two pretty big Scott, um Star Wars fans and someone who just likes to keep his ear toward things because why not? And if you're uh, scared of spoilers, leave now. But like, don't leave. You should have saw the movie by now. Which oh, is true. Yeah. Um. So I mean, yeah. I, Josh, you want to go first and introduce Damn, some ideas? Trip. Yeah, Since bro. You, um, yeah. Go ahead. I mean, me going first doesn't really do anything. Because <sighs> someone in here probably hates the movie. I personally, for one, I don't hate it. Because I can't hate it. I didn't go in with any expectations. I said, literally, they have to fix the movie. Because, obviously, the prior movie was just absolutely horrible. It was by a whole different director that had his whole different agenda and really fucked up the whole continuity. But I ain't go. I ain't start nothing with nobody. I just went in. I watched it. It was a pretty decent fucking film for what they had to work with. So, I mean, it wasn't great. It ain't movie of the year. It's not the best Star Wars movie ever. It was just that. That's all I got to say. It was just a movie. It ended the saga. Dumb way to end the saga. Didn't bring in fucking Hayden Christensen. Didn't bring in Darth Vader. Didn't bring in no one. No one of importance. But had hella fucking fan service. And what would Darth Vader do if he pulled up? If you pulled up, he could have he could have been pull up. Like it it could have been. It, it, I mean, shit. Before we just got thrown into the story at the beginning with Kylo Ren running the Exegol, it could have been like a fucking Force vision of fucking Vader being like, "My master has returned." And some shit. You've been like, "What the fuck? What the that fuck?" It probably would have been worse. <laughs> but at least fan, <laughs> you, as much fan service as they put in, we deserve to see both Vader and Anakin and Obi Wan. We deserve to see. Whoever the fuck we wanted to see at that point with all the fucking bullshit fan service that was in the movie. That's just my facts. That's how I feel. You my so opinions confused. my opinions are now facts. What? You just what, you so confused? Confused. what you mean? Like, like this I don't know how you could not be so fucked up that like you don't even know what you want to start. The movie with was so bad, but it, it no listen, no, listen, I listen. The trilogy in general has been so weird that you, that like you're like disturbed as a, as a as Oh yeah, I was hella disturbed. I mean, come on now. In general, they had to like, work off of Ryan so Johnson's <laughs> booty ass yeah, like, fucking movie. About this, but you paid too much blame on Ryan Johnson. It's his fault. Yeah, I don't it's not his fault. like like we could do a separate thing on like on the last Jedi and we talk about that cuz I I just fundamentally like disagree with you on your opinion on that film. You like it? I think it's the highlight of the trilogy. Sure. I disagree. I'm, I'm with the first one. I think the first one's the best. So I, yeah, I want to hear people start. We can talk about that later. From one to what? Sorry, 11, we can, we can solo and solo and Rogue One. Yeah, we could do that in a different app too, as well. Um, like, there's a lot that you can do with that sort of thing. So we'll do that later. Um, I thought, I thought it'd be pretty straightforward. No, no, because then you can give reasoning. Like, like, why did I just name it off and then not? You know, like, that's something you should dig into. But, I mean, for me, overall, with, with the film, I think it's, I think it tried to spend too much time trying to undo things that was done in The Last Jedi. But I understand why that happened, you know, with the whole s- swapping and switching. I think this film definitely suffered from a big issue where it, it just, like, the like like this trilogy did not have any sort of like cohesive vision. They were just kind of like going with going with the flow as they release movies. It really feels like um, they did not like they. It seems like they really needed some sort of like Kevin Feige type figure to really like orchestrate everything into a certain cohesive direction. Um, there was a there was like the three films for like. Very different. They feel like there's a lot of big jumps. I think they did do a good job though at um repairing some like 
so many loose ends where like whether it be Ray being ridiculously strong and kind of giving like two 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 somewhat valid reasonings for it, her being a palpatine, so she's kind of like just destined to be good and the the training from Leia um they also kind of like repaired some of like Kylo or Ben, whatever you want to call him being like like how he should definitely be more competent at fighting than Ray. Because when they were fighting um that big battle on whatever fucking planet that was that was like in the indoor yeah, system, yeah, but it was, it was a different moon. moon. It was like yeah. the ocean moon. You said what? Yeah, no, I was just saying it's a different moon. Oh yeah. And like him like obviously being in control of that fight. He was like just in full control. Like he was not yeah, like she was like, yes, yes. and he's just like chill bitch. Like, <laughs> yeah. So that was nice. It was like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. The dude was I think the visual dictionary revealed that he was being trained by Luke from the age of 10. So it's like, yeah, he should be way better than this bitch. You know, so what else? But I think I don't know. I I think they pulled off the Palpatine return better than I was ex- better than I was fearing before the movie came out cuz when when Palpatine's laugh and everything was in the trailer, I was like, "Oh my god, no." I was just like, "This is bad." I I was I was I was in a crowd of not excited for Palpatine to return. And the only way it could have been worse is if they explained how he came back. So this is see, no, that's my I I, I disagree. I wish they would have because he, now he's just there for no reason. I feel like if they explained it, it would have been so stupid that you'd be like, "Fuck!" They should have just not said anything. The, yeah, the thing is, I feel like with with a lot of the mistakes that that the niggas who are making these movies are doing. They shouldn't have explained it. Maybe somebody could have wrote, like, like just probably some fan right now at home writing some really good explanation or theory on why he survived. And, I, and like, if I were to hear it, I'd be like, you know what? That sounds valid. I can, I can suspend my disbelief. Yeah, I just don't that. trust them. But I feel I don't trust it. the niggas who are making these movies. Yeah, they, like, they would have fucked it up. And they I mean, just made it very vague. People are, people like, are, like, very vague. they're, like, so, well, drawing back to the, the prequels. You know, some of the the canon novels now, because I mean, in truth, Anakin shouldn't have been alive after Mustafar and got burnt up by lava. Okay, but he didn't get like thrown down. No, listen. But here goes another. Darth Maul got chopped in half and thrown down a really long shot. Yeah, but I know. I guess, but the thing with the Sith is they know they don't have like the Jedi where like they got force healing because apparently that's actually always been a thing i mean yeah but it hasn't been present in the movies which it hasn't it hasn't which is yeah yeah it's an issue but here's the thing it's an issue but then again it's not it's not that big of a deal thing no no with the force healing thing i think the way i'm looking at it it was some shit that luke learned when he went to ak two yeah, he learned it from the old. And it was an old book but the thing that was is, there. like you know, like like the but old. But no, the apparently Jedi the and, masters, and, the, old, the Jedi masters. And I guess about that, it. and I guess like, and I guess that, yeah, like they might have knew about it, but they didn't know how to do it. And I guess the Jedi Council just didn't spend enough resources trying to figure out this powerful skill. Apparently, yeah, Yoda. Knew that's that's the way I look at it. No, no, no cap, point. no cap. Apparently, Yoda knew how to do it. Who said this? I was literally with the everybody been on. Is like, well, then what? Why did Qui Gon Jinn die? Obi Wan wasn't can't. a master. O- Obi Wan wasn't a master, so he ain't know how to do it. But no, what I was saying was the Sith have like, I like guess, it. like some weight where they're just skilled in keeping people alive with all this fucking mech shit. That's why he was hooked up to that big ass tentacle fucking whatever the fuck you want to call See, it. I thought like it was the disgusting. design was pretty cool. Like that was fun. It was design. wild looking. And I think what really helped is seeing how fucking nasty and fucked up he was. Like, the nigga didn't have fingers and shit. I was like, you know what? Fine. I, I guess he could survive, you know. And, you know. But the thing that's weird to me, too, the one thing I would want to see, though, is, like, I guess I kind of would like an explanation on how he got the fuck up out of that situation, though. Because he was in orbit, nigga. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like... the Apparently, the, the, Sith, the, the, the guys that was with him in the... In the sixth movie, you know, the most Sith fucking yeah. acolyte people. Yeah, they saved his ass, probably. I yeah, but a clone or something. You said I, what? I thought it was a clone, too. I thought he was what? a clone. Palpatine? That's, yeah, that's why, like, I've heard nah, people say, say that, that he was a clone or he that he a clone. wasn't. He ain't a clone. And the thing is, too, that wouldn't make sense. Why is the clone so damaged? 
Right. Like, yeah, that's why that was that was Palpatine. Palpatine. And, and also, how did Palpatine get his body, like his soul, into this clone body? That's like a whole new skill that, like, if he could have did that, which, like, they kind of hinted maybe because he was saying, like, I'm gonna take over my granddaughter's body. Well, he was also controlling Snoke too. Like, how did he do that? See, that's the thing. I don't think he was controlling. He Snoke didn't like control. A puppy. He created. He created. He just created Snoke and treated yeah. him like one of those clones, like, like the clones, like the stormtroopers. So when he like got like so when he created Snoke or had his people make a clone, which was Snoke. I think that explains why Snoke was, first of all, like a freakishly big, because he seemed like he's like some weird, like non-existent species. I don't think we've ever seen anything like him before. Nope. And 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 the reason why he's so goddamn fucked up and limping is not because he's old, because he's a bad, he's a busted clone. But he was he was the best one that they got. And it Palpatine, you know, fucked with his mind as he did with the stormtroopers way before, and was like, "You're gonna do as I say." And Snoke was just a drone and was just doing as he said. Oh man, this makes even this makes it even worse. I mean, you can see all like, the the different Snokes that was in the movie. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> those are all the pale them. versions. Yeah, yeah, and they were all like busted and ugly. And I guess yeah. that was the only one that could probably still walk. I guess <laughs> like that was. Well, I think yeah. that's just the one that they used. Huh? They, they oh yeah, yeah, you know, but yeah, and. Yeah, and the way I looked at it is just Palpatine. The thing for me that was just weird is like, I need to rewatch, I guess, um, Return of the Jedi. But I, I just feel like Palpatine probably didn't have enough time to get out of there before the ship was blew to smithereens. But I guess he did, you know. Um, I mean, we saw the explosion. That was like the half finished Death Star or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that thing blew up like instantly. Yeah. That's why I thought he was a clone. Like, no fucking way he should be able to survive that. And no way no, anybody else. The reactor shaft blew up before. Yeah, exactly. The, before the ship blew up. Yeah. So what I'm really guessing is that he just took mad damage and he just managed to get the fuck out of there before. Like, so like he's just floating in space escaped, like Frieza or something. Like <laughs> Luke escaped. That's what I'm thinking. But it's like, to me, it's like, is that. I guess, you know, and I guess, you know, some like sympathizers saw him grabbed him up and he was like get me the fuck out of here and then they just hauled ass and he got away you know and i guess you know it's i think for me the thing was like i was really expecting for them to do a thing where it was going to be kylo he was going to be the big bad Mm -hmm. and ray was going to try to bring him into some balance point that's what i was really looking at it because i was like there's no commander who has respect because general hux got fucking clowned the fuck out of in the last jedi od that might have been a mistake because they had to get rid of him in this movie because you like we're not gonna respect that nigga he was a he was literally used as like a mop and shit in the last movie um so the only person who was up next was kylo because because snow got killed yeah yeah the redhead guy so it was like all right so kylo but then i guess they just decided that kylo wasn't good enough and was like palpatine we need a pure evil, I guess. And it's like, they, like, you don't necessarily need that. But whatever. They did it. And I feel like they pulled it off like as good as they could have. Um, that unlimited power, though. That fucking ear rape. <laughs> it's like, what? When he shot all the fucking like, ships. I had them stunned. I was like, this is, this is too much. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, and then after that, he uses like a vastly, in, like, vastly weaker version of the same attack. On Ray, and she's able to block it with a lightsaber. That scene so that much. was confusing to me. That was really confusing to me. It's like, wait, did did he just blow his load, and now he can't use that same amount of ma- unlimited power against her? I think he wanted. I think he wanted the. Uh, I think he wanted her to kill him, but. But no, he just got healed no. up. Remember? Oh yeah. no, he yeah, got healed up. And he was like, "Oh fuck your body, bitch! I don't want titties anyway. I'm good now." I'm I've been rejuvenated and that's why and that's why he was able to shoot the fucking Kamehameha into the sky like that. I mean I knew you wasn't gonna like that movie anyway. But here here goes a theory. Hey, that was confusing. Here goes a theory. He was on a Sith planet, powerful in the dark side. Can he not just be drawing from the planet after he regained his power? Are you know what can we I think that's very possible, but that but that move was fucking insane. And, oh, and it was it, crazy. I knew was gonna hate it. I thought she was gonna hate it because of her pulling the uh them both pulling the fucking 
the ship off the sky. I know this. New- you can't pull that shit. You can't no, yeah, no, no, bro, bro. When I saw that, I thought about you, and I was like, this fucking shit. I was like, what the fuck? But the I'm not gonna fuck. Like the seeing size it, of a basketball. Seeing, seeing, yeah, exactly, exactly. It was, See, it was a the way they did it was different. It wasn't a fucking star destroyer. It was a small ass little like transport ship that could not probably even go into space. Right, that did look like Star Killer though. In a little flashback, I was like, and like Star Killer. And Facts. um, yeah, yeah. So the ship was way smaller. And I was like, and I was like, okay, like that's fine, you know, like that's okay. yeah, like that didn't bother me at all. Like I thought about you, but it didn't bother me. I was like, okay, like this is cool. But but then with the fucking unlimited power, like it doesn't like that's the thing. I'm not mad about it. It's just like what the fuck? Like that was just like what? And then the, and, and like the sound effect was different too. It was like like it was not lightning. It was like I was like what the fuck? Like get out of here. And then, like, the ships all took, like, 20 years to actually fall or whatever for some reason. What did, what did you think, sir? I don't know. I didn't like it. <laughs> I, I, like, early on, like, the, I think the, the very, like, first 15 minutes was, like, really rushed. And because there were so many cuts in that first, like, 15 minutes. It was kind of jarring with Kylo. I liked it. I liked the Kylo beginning though, when Kylo like, was like, I, I up. wish that was longer, like, because it was so fast, like, they were just dumping this on you. Like, they I think, need like, the episode 10. Yeah, oh, I just that's just the issue with like, there's no through line through these movies that they just well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, they needed more time to get where they wanted to go. Yeah, they, but after yeah. that, like, I was kind of, I felt like I was on the fence for like a majority of the movie. Like I wasn't sure if I was liking it or not. Cause there's some things where I kind of, I was like liking and then they just did a bunch of things that I didn't like too. Cause like with the, the ship thing and where they almost killed Chewie, I was like, Oh, like we're going to get like dark with this. Like, okay, cool. But then, Oh, he's just, okay. He's just back like five minutes later, whatever. That's they have like the triumphant music, even though yeah. he's like in chains. Yeah, like. <laughs> and then they did like the same thing with C three PO, where they're like wiping his memory again, but they're not making a big deal about this. And then you know, oh, he just got his memory back anyway. So like, okay, whatever. Now, honestly, I'm glad they gave him back his memory because dumb niggas was not sad about it. Like Finn was yeah. like, all right, delete that. Nigga. Yeah, I was but like, also, you know? my, my issue with that too yeah. is like. Why even do actually die? Like, maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't see the point in why they had to do that. They're just gonna give him memory pack or whatever. Uh, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, yeah, I, I agree. Like, that whole C three PO losing his memory thing was just dumb. Honestly, C three PO also should have not have been such a dick about the whole like, I can't translate this unless you just go on this other little adventure thing. Like, bro, that could have cut. That could have helped the movie be a lot more concise and like direct because they had to spend so much more screen time with that other adventure to this other planet to do this other thing to meet these new characters. Yeah. I love Babu Frick, but they could have brought him in some other yeah. way. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, I they didn't have I, to go to that planet again. Like, just have C3PO be like, oh, yes, I can take you how I can translate this. And then you can move on with the plot. Apparently, J.J. Abrams wanted to do this as a split episode. Well, I, don't whatever. To... I don't care. I don't care. Anyways. Anyway, okay. let, let me just continue. Anyways, uh, so yeah, for like most of the movie, I was still like on the fence. I was. It wasn't until like the very end where we got to that like lightning scene that I was like, okay, not specific. Like I actually was like, I was fine with like Palpatine doing the whole lightning thing in the Skyward. I, I thought that was actually kind of cool to be honest. But like, my issue was when Ray started like just deflecting the lightning very easily and then they were telegraphing the i am jedi scene or whatever which for me was like really cringy because i felt like it wasn't deserved at all and i already saw this like with endgame and done way better plus like it was so dumb to me how rake was just able to like hold off palpatine's like lightning with one lightsaber with it, was two, it was two. It was two. It was two. Like Revenge of the Sith, Mace Windu is like trying super hard with both his arms, but Ray can just do it like with nonchalantly. Like what bro, she had two lightsabers. What are you on about? No, but That's before that, when she just the has the one. The, but but the thing is, I don't think the lightsaber is just like like whatever that fucking blade is. Is just a hard counter to the actual force lightning. It's also the person holding it. If I hold yeah, the lightsaber to Palpatine, like, he's gonna roast my black ass. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like sp- Base Windu specifically can do this because his, like, je- his way of fighting. Because he trained like, for that skill. Yeah. Yeah, like, not all Jedi can do that with a lightsaber. 
It's a it trained awesome. skill to channel it into the lightsaber and yeah. deflect it back. That's a like that's a that's an ability. Like it has a name and shit. I don't know the name. So He's close to the dark side him, himself. Yeah, exactly. That feels. And then yeah. it also like just made me dislike the movie more when Palpatine just dies the same way like Mace Windu was attacking him. Like he did it. Like how do you not learn this? Like it was. No, I, like, I think the ability is, is like you can't. I think the I think the way the ability works though with the with the lightsaber reflecting thing is that they can't stop it. I don't like, understand they start, why like, Palpatine they get specifically can't stop, or like how Ray knows how to do that either. Like. Yeah, like, I think it's why does Ray know how to do this? Like, and and I guess it just really go, and I guess they were just really relying on, oh, but she did all the studying of all these textbooks and shit, and was training with Leia. But like, that still doesn't seem like enough. Maybe also, not. didn't they destroy the textbooks at movies. the end of Last Jedi? Like, like I don't understand. She still had some though. She, she had some, some though. Did she? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because like they show her going through them and stuff yeah. when um when Those he, are the books that Leia gave her. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm assuming that's where she learned how to force heal. Since yeah, yeah, yeah. So exactly. Stupid, bro. I can't. The force heal. It should. JJ Abrams should have did two movies. It should have been. It should have been two split movies. Well, it's not like his, his decision. But... Well, it wasn't his decision, but that's what and he that, wanted. He and wanted it to be part one, part two. But that's the issue because these storyline things are he has a lot more say in that. So he needed to bite the bullet and say, Okay, I can't tell the story I want to in two fucking movies. I gotta I gotta change my vision that I'm trying to be stubborn with. And that's why the movie is fit the so fact that I see, but at the same time, I feel like it. they were pushing him into that, right? Because I don't think JJ this isn't like the movie he wanted to make, you know, like that's also like the other like creative vision of like Lucasfilm. And the head of Disney, like Kathleen Kennedy, making him do like, just what oh yeah, is. no, he got you too, yeah. It was apparently a bunch of like, it was a committee he had to go through to do like get through everything because they were kind of disappointed how the last movie went with the creative like freedom. So they pretty much everything he wanted to do, he had to go through with people. Yeah, yeah, that kind of sucks, but whatever. Yeah, I mean. He's one of the best directors we have of our time. It's kind of tragic. That uh, I disagree. Uh, I don't All know right. about that. I'm, I just I'm, think uh, I'm bulldozing. Yo, I'm bringing yo, in my opinion. This movie was dog shit. Of this our, movie was so fucking bad. And JJ years. Abrams is not a good director. In the he's last made, twenty years, like, he's not a good one. He's he's made uh, okay. What did he direct? He directed Star Trek. Uh, Force Awakens, the Star, Star Trek, Trek movies, two, and Super two. Eight, and that's it. <laughs> Those are his directing credits. He's been the producer on some better films, like he uh, produced Cloverfield. But you know, I don't really give producers. I like, I like credit. his, I like the way his movies look. They look nice, lens flares, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah, this I movie like was fucking ridiculous. Stuff, it speaks to me, but that's basically it. I, like in terms of like being a director, I've, I, I haven't seen anything that he's been, and, and I've watched all those Star Trek movies, and I, I don't see the like J.J. Abrams aspect making those movies necessarily like so like ridiculously amazing other than like the visual shit i don't you know like i don't see what sets him apart is what i'm saying mm -hmm. so i, I don't mean, i don't it's, agree with it's that. his whole mystery, mystery box thing when he goes about writing too that's just so stupid like he oh yeah 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 there was plenty he, of that in the star trek shit they had to go get the device and shit well no i mean mystery box like well, there was a lot of go get this device to go get this yeah. device to go get this device in this movie which was also really fucking stupid but like, the it's fact not Indiana that, jones the, the fact that um he abhors the fact that the audience might figure out what his plan for what how the story is going to end is like he also did lost right and that whole thing was like a mystery show and he just fucking hates the idea that oh man the audience is going to figure out what we're going to do so i'm just going to do something out of left field that's going to suck yeah, yeah yeah which is what happened in rise of the skywalker this movie moved way too fast for how little shit actually happened um uh ray supposedly killing chewy could have been an interesting thing like oh she might be seduced yeah. by the dark side because yeah, he should have actually died accidentally killed somebody um but then they didn't but then when she meets palpatine they pretend like for a moment she might turn even though she's done literally nothing wrong the entire fucking movie or at least the movie doesn't think that she's done anything wrong yeah. wants the dark side uh 
Palpatine being back is so stupid that it can't even be commented on. The starship fleet is also also <laughs> stupid. Yeah, so dumb that it can't even be commented on. It's no, like, no, no. For me, for me, it's cool. But why do they all have Death Star guns? Like it's a casual yeah, ass picture. Yeah. That was why is that the only way to make a threat in Star Wars? That's not He's even the worst part for me. Many times. The worst part was that they needed like a guiding ship for these other ships. Like what the yeah, fuck? It's like, bro, this is a bum ass system. Why don't we just make it up a Death Star then? Like. <laughs> fucking finn saying twice in the movie ray i gotta tell you something and then he just never tells us <laughs> like, well actually like in the leaked scripts that's like him saying like he knows she's a power he's for or... no i heard it was that he was no, force sensitive. No, i've no. heard it's force it's sensitive that he force loves sensitive. ray or and what zara said like that's i've heard all three of these things but it doesn't really matter because it wasn't in the fucking yeah movie. it doesn't matter <laughs> like he just says Oh, Ray, I gotta tell you something. Uh, no, I'm not gonna tell I you. I think it's pretty oh. obvious that he, that it was that he's force sensitive. Because, like, he, like, there's times in a movie where he's like, Ray's in trouble. And he's just taking a shit. Like, he just feels it. Regardless I do think he should have said it at some point, though. Yeah. He never says it. You can't, like, this is it's so stupid. basic movie ring corporation. You bring up something, you remind the audience, and then you pay it off. It's so yeah, simple. Yeah, it never so tell standard. us. And they just it never do, tell us. <laughs> yeah, one, two, and then stop. Um, the fact that uh, Rose Tico is just written out of the movie. Not in the movie, bro. I, I didn't get to get to that, bro. I think she literally has less than two minutes of screen time. No, she, yeah, it's like I a don't minute. even think she has 40. a line. I remember seeing That's her. That's bullshit, like, bro. Remember when she saved Finn, who was about to suicide, and she, like, su uh, suicided after him to try to save him, and then they just, like, ignore that she exists, and then he goes to kiss this fucking new black female she's not, she's basically just girl finn basically that they Wait, on the planet they kissed her i don't know if they kissed her, no, they, like, no, they, her. no. they give her more screen time even though she's a totally brand new character that's literally just gender swap finn like what yeah. the fuck dude like I'm sure people didn't like rose but like fuck him she actually has an established movie that she was in um no 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 Ugh, bro that's like i didn't like rose but at the end of the movie i was like where's the rose i wanted to not like her in this movie why wasn't she there Posed love interest too, who comes out of fucking nowhere to resolve a plot line or to resolve a conflict that happens for like half a second is so dumb. Like, oh man, how are we gonna get onto the 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 bad guy steer ship? And she's like, oh yeah, I just have this fucking coin. It's like, all right, cool. Oh, the freaking wayfinder. No, not as important as the dagger. It was. <laughs> yeah, that thing too. Like, the why was dagger, it a dagger? I just feel like a dagger was whack. Like, they need to go to find the dagger to go to find a box to go to find Palpatine. Can we just cut the middleman and just find the box to find Palpatine or just find Palpatine? Why did we have to go on this fucking wild goose chase to find That's everything? what I'm saying. Yeah, like, they, they, they added so many extra steps that I feel like they could have been spending time, like, paying off more important stuff. Like, I, I'm not even mad because I watched this pirated, but, like, <laughs> this movie just wasted my time while also rushing me by. It was so strange. It was like, oh, hey, look at that thing. Oh, well, can't look at that too long. Got to move fast. Hey, they work with what they had to work with. They, they no, could have no, so much no, but they, No, but they could have done a better job. They really could have. And, I, I, oh, another thing, too. <laughs> Yo, the Knights of Ren, like... Yeah, those, they're just... Why is open stormtroopers, my nigga? Yeah. Bro, they didn't even have lightsabers. They had, like, a metal bat. Like, yeah. I was like, what is this? I, I, didn't, like, I didn't know they weren't stormtroopers. <laughs> like, That's what I'm saying. They were just basically uh, stormtroopers. There are so bro, stormtroopers have better... Stormtroopers now. Bro, bro, some stormtroopers have better have better gear than them. Like, you know what the fucking, like, like the... I'm like, the niggas would... Like, the niggas they fought, and, like, like the niggas they fought in Last Jedi, I, I'm in, like, the throne room. Like the whip with like the fucking like laser shit yeah. between that can they fight like, a lightsaber. Those are, those are those are relics that they were using though. The Fuck a relic. They using, they're using relics. With the Leia thing, I think that one is kind of fucked because I think with the timing of her death and the way that the last Jedi was released and the, and like how far along they were with editing and stuff, they couldn't have fixed it without like shoehorning some like death into her in the last movie and then like changing Luke shit. I, like I think they were too far gone with the development of The Last Jedi to kind of just, like, kill her off and, like, and do it because she died in real life, which also might have been felt as, like, distasteful. It's a tricky situation because having her corpse, because she's not alive, having her dead self playing her part in the next movie, some people feel like, ah, like, that's weird, too. 
but also just killing her off because she actually died also is like some people are like oh yeah but that's fucked up you know i mean so, more importantly than the fact that she actually died her arc came to an end she didn't do anything in this movie that um anybody else couldn't have especially because han solo showed up to kylo which he doesn't have any connection to the force so this is entirely uh uh like um separate from the force i guess you could say that was just um, like the dreams like yeah that was just like homie talking in his head yeah, yeah. yeah that's why i looked at it yeah it was just yeah like, but like this is like he's totally conscious like leia didn't need to be here for this shit when they were on the water um bridge thing where they were fighting uh she should have just been gone back um, to rose though literally the rose thing is so fixable literally just have her tag along with finn and poe like i don't <laughs> why was she at the base just pressing shit like have her i would even be fine if it was like at the end like rose and then they like kiss she 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 gives them like or what did they do? Like they put their hands on each other's shoulders or some shit, <laughs> and then he runs up to Poe and he's like, "Bro," and hugs him like, "Oh, <laughs> what's up? Oh, dude, Poe, I missed you, man." We're not gay though, because China won't like that. So they had like two women, I think, in the background of that yeah. scene kissing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, no, fucking. It was the pointy nose bitch from the last movie. Both the actors wanted it to be a gay couple too. They're some weirdos. I don't like either one of them. They gay for that. I mean, um, I probably can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually kidding. That's so. Weird. But like, who God the, damn. the gay characters are Poe and Finn. Poe and Finn. Poe and Finn. The actual, the actual fucking actors are like. I mean, why not? Be a gay couple. Yeah, they wanted to be, but it's like no, 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 no. But John Boyega has been talking wild, crazy shit since this movie has come out because I, I guess his contract is done, so he doesn't give yeah. a fuck, bro. This nigga's been making jokes about how he should have been smashing Ray instead of fucking Kylo. <laughs> like literally, he said like, "Hey, if Ray, like if Ray wanted to hang out with Finn, they might chill and like brook it up or something." Like, like what? Wow, bro. Like he's literally been talking. Like he's like, yeah, it's like. He doesn't give a fuck anymore. He's like, yo, like this shit turned to a shit show. I thought I was signed up for Star Wars. It's just been a shit show. Yeah, I just got like final thoughts because there's so many things that's just fucked with this movie, including the force healing thing, which came out of nowhere and makes no fucking sense. Um, I feel bad for Adam Driver. He's a really good actor, and this movie was just so fucking bad. <laughs> I feel real. <laughs> uh. Like he did that movie with Scarlett Johansson this year too, so Great he got story. like yeah, he's yeah, getting he an got, Oscar nomination, so he should be fine. He got his acting chops out in that one. This one was just for money. I mean, even then, I feel like he's did the best that he could with the character. Yeah, like he had Especially such that. shit material. For he did good. At the end, I feel like the Kylo character is fine. So I feel like fine. the Kylo character is fine. I think, I think, I feel like Kylo was done well. I think. One of the issues is, I think, a low point for, like, like I'm going to go through the crew. I think a low point for Finn was that in the last movie, he rose, wasted way too much of his time on that damn casino planet. I just wish they hadn't got caught. Yeah, that could have been. They got caught, yeah. and they got thrown in prison, and I just dragged it out. I wish they would have found the guy with the with the with the with the blue poom poom thing the like the flower thing like the guy they needed and got the fuck off of that planet and like did some shit you know what i mean yeah so so that was a waste for finn and a waste for rose because that planet was just pretty boring and whack um poe poe's cool i think poe was just too much of a dickhead in the last jedi he doesn't he has a, he's um he has like this arc that they're setting up, like, oh, I used to sell drugs, and then they just never mention it again. It's like, why would you fucking? Bother? Well, I feel like that was just giving him more character, just cause. Yeah, I think I think they kind of like, like random flesh fun t- facts about character don't make a character. Like saying, yeah, Rose but Lever, like they're just oh, like well, yeah, it's, like, it's, it's like who gives a shit? Like, does this matter to the story? I I don't know. Maybe Poe should have like did some more with. I don't, I think maybe that fleet, like that armada thing, should have been changed up a little bit. And maybe if Poe would have, like, I don't know, took down, like, 10 Star Destroyers by the end of the fucking scene. Something. Like, you know, I don't know. Like, something. like He should have had an something. arc where Rey did something bad where she killed Chewie. This is rewriting the movie at this point in the same yeah, yeah, yeah. structure. But, like, she kills Chewie. She feels bad. Uh, Poe's like, hey, people do bad stuff and they can change because I used to sell drugs. And then they can reconcile and then they can go and fight Palpatine. And, and then it goes actual spice tension together. for her to go over to the dark side when she's facing him one on one. No, 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 no. But remember that they have to do the spice together. The what? The spice. 
That was the drugs. The drugs in Star Wars are called Spice. Oh, I, so Spice, Spice is the thing in Dune, too. <laughs> I was so <laughs> confused. Um, but yeah, like, like, oh, yeah, Ray, I did some fuck shit, too. I sold drugs to fucking pregnant women. <laughs> it was like, damn. Yeah. Oh, Actually, I got some right now <laughs> if you're trying to get lit. And she's like, so I can change. It's like, yeah, Ray, you can change. Instead, it's like, yeah, I did this. And they're like, that's cool. <laughs> and then they just move on. Mm-hmm. How do you guys like the new droid? Unnecessary. Oh, that nah, fucking one wheel bullshit. Like, I like yeah, that. Whatever. I like him. He was, yeah. Yeah, he was I like him more than BB 8. He's just there yeah, to sell toys. Yeah. He was, yeah, so what? I don't give a fuck if he's there to no, just sell toys. I like him. I like he was unnecessary no, no, too. No, 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 thank you. Either. So? That's pretty cool. He's he's polite. He uses manners. I like he that. He like a piece he's of cute. trash. He honestly looked like. I mean, he I was, mean, nigga. He looked like, he looked like the <laughs> he Pixar. He was. He was the Pixar lamp in 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 freaking Star Wars. Oh God, right. He was. Yeah. That nigga was lit. He's like, no, thank you. Don't touch me. No, thank you. No, thank you. And about, like, oh my goodness, I was like, surprised they, he couldn't jump. They <laughs> even could have done something cool with him. Honestly, like Ray is Ray is struggling. Like, damn, maybe I am a bastard. And then the robot is like, no, thank you. Don't touch me. And she's like, damn, I really do suck. That yeah, would be, that, yeah, that like God, this fucking movie. <laughs> Instead, it's like, hey, let's go to planet A to go to planet B to go to planet C to get items X, Y, and Z so we can find Palpatine and we can dual wield him to death. Like, ah, oh, fuck, man. I think Ray and Kylo should dick Palpatine down. Yeah, yeah. With no, no, with the help of the Force Ghost. They should have pulled. Why was it just bring balance to the force like I Actually, did? Bitch, where are you? Why are I disagree. Just... I think Kylo should have soloed Palpatine, honestly. That would have been an end to his arc, which they also fucked up. Um, oh, wait, wait. Maybe, but died in the process? Yeah. I fuck with that. Like, I fuck with that. Because, like, yeah. see, the, another problem I have with Kylo in the beginning is that he finds out that, um, Palpatine in the very beginning of the movie is like, every voice in your head was me. And he's like, damn, dude, that sucks. Like, I thought it was talking to my Uncle Vader. Um, but then he still puts Grandpa? the mask on. Grandpa. Fine. <laughs> this, this family tree is so fucked up for me. I can't follow it. <laughs> but yeah, all these names. She's like, uh, or he's like, yeah, I was every voice in your head. And he's like, damn. And he goes to consult the Vader helmet. And he's like, you know that Vader isn't there, right, man? And why did you put back on the Kylo mask that you specifically broke in the last movie? What are you doing? Honestly, a big thing, too, was like, how about things are like, oh, I swindle you into becoming a dark side user. With why didn't you just snake. stab that nigga right there? Like, wait, my, I did all this shit because you lied to me? <laughs> movie over. Roll credits. You know what I mean? Like, he pro- that's he another thing, too. Him, he promised him that fleet, though. The more I remember, the the more I get pissed off. Why did he use Snoke to fucking persuade Kylo? Like, this gigantic, nasty, like, lung cancer (laughs) fucking demon spawn. Why did he use that to to convince a little child? I remember he said as long as, as long as he brought the girl to him, he would give him the fleet and let him rule the universe. Yeah, no, like, I know that. I know that. Snoke as a no. body to do this. Like, no, 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 no. But, but, like, what I'm saying is, Snoke should have been a Wookiee. Snoke because, should have been a Jar Jar. No, because, the thing is, hey, no. hold up, hold up, hold up. Here's the backstory that that we don't know because none of us has read. None of us have read the the comics. I've skimmed over it, but Snoke was just some random person that was force sensitive that Luke met, yeah. and then he kept like whispering into uh, Kylo's ear. And was like, listen, I know how to be powerful, more powerful than your uncle. And Uncle Luke was like, no, nah, I'm not feeling that. That sounds like someone I used to know that died a long time ago, a.k.a. Palpatine. And yeah. nigga was like, you keep coming at my, my nephew, I'm going to kill you. So then I guess Snoke tried one more time. And this time he showed uh, Ray, or er, not Ray, Kylo, the dark side powers he knew. And then fucking yeah, Luke that. came and like sliced his face. That's, that's yeah, why his yeah, face yeah, looked like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, nigga was like, "Oh shit, your ma- look what your master has done out of spite." Blah blah blah. And so that put doubt in Ky- in Kylo's head. Oh, which is so that's why he looked okay. He was starting to yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, Fuck, yeah. I wish yeah, they I forgot explained that. that shit because I just I thought it was like that's this what, is the form you chose to like convince now, a child. Now, if, like, he, was, if he had came to Kylo as Palpatine. 
Luke would have been like, Luke oh, hell off no. Rip. Yeah. Like, oh, I wasn't done. You know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I completely forgot about that comic thing because I didn't actually read the comic. I did this, like, I, I think I did a similar thing to you and I kind of like just got the got the information from a different source. I didn't actually read it. So I forgot that I, that I had knew that. Yeah. <laughs> Um, for the ending, I guess to end this, um, fucking, why does she bury the lightsabers and why does she call herself a Skywalker now? And also, Ray's parents thing was really dumb, and I wish one of them looked like Star Killer, and I was cool with that. The dad looked like Star Killer. No, he did not. He He did. did. He did did not. What are you talking about? He was a he was a white man with a buzz cut. Yeah, he looked like Star Killer. No, he did it. He looked like Galen really Merrick. He's a star killer. He looked like he looked like Galen. He looked really like Galen Merrick. Really wild. Like he's not like the most racist as fuck. <laughs> he looked like Galen Merrick. So <laughs> all white. He looked like hair. Galen Merrick. What the fuck, bro? Dude, I that was happy. Soft. I was like, oh my god, ass. it's Galen Merrick. Okay. But yeah, like I don't get why she buried the lightsabers. That was really stupid. If she's gonna reset the Jedi Order, and I don't get why she calls herself. Did she say she was gonna do that? She never said she was gonna make the Jedi Order. Oh, she didn't. Okay, well, yeah. Regardless, I don't know why she would bury the lightsaber on a planet that Luke hates and Leia's never been to. (laughs) Like, Luke didn't. Luke didn't hate it. He didn't hate Tatooine. It was his dad. He was bored. Hated his that dad, His dad not. hated Tatooine. Anakin hated Tatooine. Luke yeah, was just Anakin, bored. He was a bored kid in that bored. Yeah, he was like, bored so much that he hated. He wanted to leave no matter what. No. He just was, I want to go do something. No, I want to do like, something with my life the instead of being a fucking moisture farmer, nigga. That, yeah, <laughs> that's what that was all it was. He's just, not like, hate yeah. like, oh, God. I Not, not hate like Anakin. Well, hate, like, Anakin hate hated that shit. Yeah, like because yeah, Anakin's fucking a psychopath. Sam, <laughs> Luke hated it in the same way that like a kid hates school. Like, damn, this place sucks. Like anywhere but here. But he was cool with it. Like he, just I don't hated. think he was cool with it. I think he wanted to get out no matter what. Like, remember how disappointed he well, was when they told him that he couldn't go to the academy that year because they needed yeah, to yeah, yeah, no more moisture. He definitely wanted out, but it's like, where else you gonna put the fucking lightsabers? I mean, she could have just kept them. Yeah, just keep them. She Pass them down them. to somebody else. I don't know why she didn't keep them. Give them to the broom kid. That- but no, no, no. <laughs> why well, I think? Why well, I think what happened was they got to the end of the movie and was like, oh wait, this shit is titled "The Rise of Skywalker." Uh, what are we gonna do about that? Because we just killed the last the line, person yeah. in their bloodline. <laughs> um, and then they just threw that shit in. That's what happened. That's Probably. what happened. They just wanted no to sense. Off. There was no need. There was no need. I understand her just saying, like, like her not jacking that she's a Palpatine. Yeah, your fucking grandfather was the fucking devil. There's no t- I'm just Ray. How about that? Like, you don't gotta be Ray Skywalker. She could have said I'm just Ray or Ray Palpatine. Ray. I would have been fine with either of those. It wouldn't have fit thematically perfectly because the whole movie just like fucked over the whole you can be anybody and do great things. But it's like, no, you have to be a part of this very specific mm. plot line. No, no, no. One of the two. <laughs> yeah. Either a Palpatine. Of, yeah. Or or yeah, or bloodlines of the chosen one. Like Or like Yoda's kid if they exist somewhere out in the universe. Yeah, like they really like, just wanted to show off Ray's yellow lightsaber. That's what that whole scene was. Honestly. It's like, ooh, fans, look at the new color. Hey. I, it it did look very nice though. I didn't like the handle because it was it was like based on her bum ass like staff. But, See, yeah. I was hoping it would be like a staff lightsaber working off of that. Nah, that's bum shit. Those shits are... Or at least if it was Leia's lightsaber, right? Because they Those just... shits always get cut in half, my nigga. Like, <laughs> I mean, not... They, they... Not all the time. Not all the time. Not in the old Republic. They don't. Because some niggas ain't learned the move yet, I guess. Some old niggas is dumb. <laughs> like, what do you, you know, mean? They were strong. that bitch down the middle? They ain't got a lightsaber. Bro. I always thought that design get... was cool, but dumb as fuck. It was like, it doesn't Darth make Maul's sense. new one didn't get cut in half. But no, 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 no. I'm not talking about one of those. I'm talking about like the long ass like spear lightsaber shit from the Old Republic. Oh, not yeah, a yeah. not a double, not a double sided. Yeah, not a double. Just a spear yeah, one. Oh, a like, the, yeah, like the, the like the oh the yeah, like the the, 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 the uh, what are called the, the sin- library people or whatever. Yeah, the sin- yeah, some sin- sin- niggas. You ain't never seen the library cold. niggas getting it. You know why? Yeah, they do. No, you know why you never seen them getting it? Because they're librarians. No, because their bum ass lightsaber would just get smoked. That's why you put them in. Apparently, Je- Jedi Sentinels are are the dopest. Nah, yeah, they look cool though. I don't know about. I don't know. I don't know if they the are. Yellow cool. lightsaber like the shit, bro. 
No, I like the yellow. It's the fucking the fucking staff shit. I just feel like it just it just don't work. But whatever. It, it, if plus guards work, then fuck it. Plus, there's a lot of metals in the Star Wars universe that are like that are like lightsaber resistant. They just don't talk about it much, I guess, because that kind of like it's they like why don't why don't they just give it to the villains? <laughs> you said what? They don't make doors out of that shit apparently either. Ever. Ever. Yeah. It's black like, doors bro, are like, absolutely stupid. It's like, nigga, you... Well, actually, maybe, because they don't cut through them shits like butter, like they do the droids. It takes a while. It takes a while. Oh my God, Jen got through that and remember, in two minutes. And remember, I said resistant, not proof. It's resistant. It's still a lightsaber, but there's metals out there that could take a shot from a lightsaber, like a slash, and be fine. Can best go? Be, I don't think so. But if you keep grinding against that bitch, it's going to cut. Yeah. Now, here's the real question. Does the blade of a lightsaber cast a shadow, and how much does a lightsaber weigh? Does the blade weigh anything, or is it just the handle? I don't think the blade weighs anything. The blade probably doesn't weigh like, Do they cast a shadow? I guess, yeah, because they generally light. I don't know if that makes any sense, but fuck it. I'm going to go with that. Did y'all hear the two... Oh, no, it wasn't that one. Playing back on episode three, when the two lightsabers grinded against each other, when uh, Anakin cut Dooku up, Mm-hmm. That shit sounded scary, bro. Honestly, lightsabers are made of some weird shit. You know what I'm saying? That kyber crystal shit, that light coming out that kyber crystal. Man. Did you know that the I... reason why Kylo's lightsaber isn't like smooth is because it's from a cracked kyber crystal? crystal? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. If you use like a damaged crystal, it gives you a, a, a edgy boy effect. But yeah. I mean, I like, all in all, all in I all, like I think the movie was. I think the movie was okay. I'll definitely be like watching it again. Maybe not in theaters. I don't know if I get around to it. Maybe, but it's definitely a movie that I will be watch. Like like when I'm watch, like I'm in the mood to watch a Star Wars movie. I'm I. This one will be one I'll probably pick sometimes. I don't pick the Force Awakens. I don't. It's just so bland. It's good, but it, it it's nice. It's it's okay, I guess, because it's just not. Watch the movie. It doesn't pull me in. Completely aping. You know what? Just watch the movie that it completely apes. Just watch a new hope or whatever. Yeah, I mean, well, that's old. I watch those all the time. Like those yeah, episode, episode, like, like I even will watch episode two. So episode two through like six is easy watching for me. I'd watch all these again. You can't, so the seven. only one you can't watch is one that has the best. I stand by the I best. Scary. The best. Stop. Actually, no. Just honestly. Stop. Just no, 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 no. This lightsaber this? fight. No, no, because I t- bro, oh, I, the, the choreography. I was gonna talk about no, the, yeah, has the good, best lightsaber like, fight. Maul versus two people is. I mean, it, it's two people. It's a third three person choreography. That's so hard to do, and yeah, for them to get it as well the as they did. The movie, Josh. Yeah, no, right. the rest of the movie is bunk. But yes, that's exactly. Yes. I'm not yes. talking about the scene, nigga. I'm talking about the movie. I'm not gonna watch the whole fucking movie just to watch I'll that. Watch that, that I'll watch that boring ass movie just to watch that fucking the duel of fate. Do that when you can just skip to the fight. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Shit go hard. So the, and the lightsaber come out. They put it's that really other side out. Though. It's like, like, oh shit, nigga. It was it's really interesting too down. how like how Dolph Maul was all badass and shit, but Obi Wan kills this nigga in like two two fucking that like swift me. strikes in a rebels. Yeah, that was really dumb. I don't <laughs> think it was dumb. No, he was weak. He was weak by rebels. He was weak by Rebels. Obi-Wan was old as dirt, too, nigga. But he was probably strong in the force. He had been meditating every day. Nah, nah, nah. But I think the like the way I look at it, too, just like on the surface, because I just started Rebels today, I look mm. at it on the surface as probably like Obi-Wan is a defensive fighter. Maul is literally just pure offense. And Obi-Wan knows the nigga's fighting style. He, he knew a movie was going to be. He's like, nigga, I've been thinking about this counter for you for decades. Like. The way it's I reconciled it is that Darth Maul wanted to die. That's yeah, yeah he that's did. Yeah. He, he did in that he in that episode. In that episode, he wanted. Yeah, to he die. did. He did. Yeah, he was, and I mean, he was done for. He, yeah, and he was just yeah, he was just pure like attack. He was just like because I remember seeing that scene. And I was like, oh shit, it's about to pop. Oh. Obi Wan was like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, like because he killed his girl, son. He remember that. Uh, he remembered that. He felt. He felt that. Obi-Wan He's a knew. Jedi. He's a Jedi. He let that go as soon as it happened. All right. Well, but yeah. To wrap this up, I can quick. Let me let me quickly put this movie at the bottom of all the Star Wars movies, <laughs> except for the prequels. Okay. The prequels so I'm not putting the, it below the prequels. Prequels all go to the bottom because I'm putting it below. I'm putting actually, it below the prequels. Fuck, actually. 
Episode three I, is. Still I kind of like some of the good. prequel episodes more than this. Fuck, this might actually be at the bottom. Like right. How do you hate three. This is at the bottom for me. Except it's the bottom. I haven't seen it. This is like it's at the, the bottom. bottom, right above like the prequels, and then Rogue One, and then everything else. Rogue One is good though. I hate that, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> this one for me is bottom. Is better than nah, definitely not the bottom. I wouldn't say that. Nah. It's the bottom. Uh I like it more than episode one. And I like it more than episode two, I think. I think I think this one has more rewatchability for me. And that's just because it, it was just, just the action and stuff. It's more fun to watch, I guess. But other than that, yeah, I think. Oh, and it's better than The Force Awakens. And the only reason I say that is because, like I said, I just have no, I have no urge to watch that movie I, again. So, I guess, yeah, yeah third and from the like, like mediocre from the or safe movies are more insulting ones that just like suck ass in a spectacular way. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, and I guess that's it. You know, it's whatever. They did, they did my man Kylo right. Did they and... disagree? Yeah, disagree. Yeah. What do you mean? He should have been what? alive. I think really alive? Nah, honestly, I think it's okay that he died. I think he should have died. I don't like that they regressed. Wait, wait, wait. We wrapping it up though. We wrapping it up. Yeah, we wrapping it up. yeah, but, yeah. We already said why. We wrapping it up. It's okay. All right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed the episode. It Love y'all. Happy um, New Year, right. decade. Hope your holidays were good. Now we in the. Uh, oh, we going decade. to war. We going to war. See you later. Hope <laughs> your niggas are ready to strap up. <laughs> Let's get her done, brother.